So what is Skive Hobby? The term skiving is used to describe several different processes, sometimes called hard hobbing, or rehobbing, or even just skiving. Skive hobbing is a finishing process used to remove material from gear teeth, typically after heat treat. This process is used when the quality requirements are higher than for a part that's hobbed only, but not high enough to require gear grinding or when gear grinding is not practical for one reason or another. Hard skive hobbing has become the primary process for automotive steering pinions because it offers a fast and economical way to remove the heat treat distortion. So what are other applications for the hard skiving process? For gears that need to be finished and have interfering geometry without enough clearance for a large grinding wheel, a small diameter hob can be used to finish the part after heat treat. In some cases, the necessary work holding arrangement won't allow gear grinding, so hard skiving may provide a solution. Hard skive hobbing is also used when the gear blank is produced as a near net shape, usually by forging. In this case, the part can be hobbed either in the pre-heat treated or green condition, or after heat treat as a hard part. How does hard hobbing work? Since the gear teeth are already on the part that will be hard hobbed, the cutting tool needs to be specifically designed for hard hobbing. A negative rake angle is sometimes used on the hob flute to create the proper cutting conditions to remove a controlled amount of material from the flanks of the gear teeth. Depending on the specific gear parameters, this hob rake angle is usually between minus 15 and minus 30 degrees. A neutral or zero rake angle hob can be used due to the excellent machine rigidity. This can improve the tool life. Hard skive hobbing is primarily a finishing operation and only the flanks of the gear teeth are cut. The root and the OD are generally not finished during the hard hobbing operation. Climb hobbing is generally recommended to reduce hob wear during hard hobbing. Both tool steel and carbide hobs can be used for hard skive hobbing. When preparing the gear for hard hobbing, between 150 and 300 microns of stock per flank is generally preferred. Since the gear has already been hobbed and heat treated before the hard hobbing operation, the teeth are already there. In order to hard hob or skive the part, the teeth must be detected and the hob teeth aligned so that the tool won't remove the existing gear teeth. This is accomplished either with a mechanical fixture method or with a sensor that detects the gear teeth. A Hall Effect sensor is often used to quickly find the location of the teeth before the hard hobbing process begins. The exact center of the space width is determined by the CNC control software, and the relationship of the hob spindle and the work table is established for even and balanced stock removal from each flank. After the part alignment and the stock division is complete, the skive hobbing begins. It uses the same generating process as for all hobbing operations.